Well, Scott, this is one of the portable traffic lights James is talking about. When this light turns green, so does the light on the other side of the street. James says it's causing all sorts of confusion, but he says officials don't seem to think so. I'm the only one to see the problem with it. Retired firefighter Earl James stands near the portable traffic lights along Charlton and Payne Streets and waits for problems. It, 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 it's every day, all day. That James says cars run this red light and fail to yield to oncoming traffic at the intersection currently under construction. The issue is that light there, when it turns red, this light turns red. When this turns green, this one turns green. There's a sign that says who has the right of way, but it's on the other side of a telephone pole. And we caught people flat out ignoring the no turn on red sign. Alarming since Payne Street is a single lane due to construction. Oncoming vehicles are on the other end. Somebody's going to get seriously hurt if not killed over here until something is done about this. And James says he's tried to do that, calling Metro Public Works and police. He's asked them for the lights to be green at separate times. James says Public Works didn't see a problem. We're waiting for them to give us a comment on that. And in the meantime, James is keeping his eyes on the road. I'm going to stay on until something's done. We'd like to hear from the viewers on this issue. Do you think something should be done about these traffic lights? Comment on this story on our Facebook page and let us know. Reporting live from the Clifton neighborhood, Jovina Fordson, Wave 3 News. Now